Nice. Not yet. I was just checking on you. I could have used this time sort for another customer. She told me she'd be here at three, but you don't have any other customers anyway. You brought me bad luck. Sorry. Sorry. I'll be outside. No need. I'll see her coming. <laughs> Get it. Because... She's here. Hey. So nice to meet you. I'm so excited. Since Jacob told me about you, I just had to come. I always wanted to do this, but I never knew the right person. Well, search no more. How come you know Jacob? Uh, we met online. Sit down. And I don't give discounts just because you know my staff. Elizabeth is a dentist. Uh, she can afford it. Well, good for her. Oh, come on, Jacob. Don't spill out all the beans yet. Leave something for Joanna to guess. As if the universe would bother telling me you're a dentist. Miss Joanne means that the readings won't be that specific. Um, it might be suggested by the cards that you, you work as a healer, but nothing as specific as oral care. Well, I was researching a bit into tarot readings and I think that there is some energy that I can put into the cards to make them more personal. Whatever, honey. Do you want me to read the cards or not? Miss Joanne is also really good at reading tea leaves. Perhaps you'd also like to get your cup read. That sounds lovely. That's another 20 quid. Sure. Okay. You needn't affirm it twice. Perhaps you'd like a cup of tea as well, Miss Joanne. Well, do I really have to ask? You idiot. Oh. And don't forget. Yeah, yes, of course. You can open your eyes now. Now, shuffle these. Yeah, okay, enough now. Put them on the table. Yes, there. Now cut them. Like this. Ah, okay, shall I do it no, again? No, it's fine now. This is your present. It says, you're a naive fool. And it's reversed, which means you're foolish and reckless. Oh, well, my mum always oh, said... Oh, my God. I don't care. This is your challenge. It seems there's something stopping you from achieving your goals. That one looks creepy. It's another major arcana. You'll go through some life-changing event. No. No.
Unfortunately, <laughs> no. The fact is, the devil just means there are external forces holding you back. And there's some harmful habits that you just can't seem to be able to quit. Maybe even old grudges. External forces in my life. The past. This card represents all the things that have happened in your life that led you to this present challenge. It suggests illusion, anxiety, and deception. Maybe you were false to someone in your life, or someone was false to you. Are you all right, Mrs. Johanna? Yeah. Just the moon. It says you lost your path. And this may have influenced you in some way. You failed to see things as they were. You felt deceived. And this may have made you bitter over the years. This card represents the future, the next step in your journey. Ooh, sounds interesting. Death. Oh my God. Calm down. This card represents change. A new beginning, perhaps. It can be positive. Maybe you'll find yourself freed from those external circumstances that were holding you down. So... Something will happen in my life that will take away all the negativity. I guess. Sure. Like an old grudge. Why not? I suppose. Okay. Good. This is your goal. What you consciously want. Let me stop you right there. Ex pardon me? I'll take the reading from here. What? To tell you what I want. What I really, really want. What? I want revenge. You bloody fucking fool. You're the fool, not me. What are you even going on about? You want to know my past, you bitch? You weren't half wrong. Seems like you do have a little bit of talent in this prankly old head of yours. I was going to get married, you know. He was great. A bit insecure, but he was great. I really, really loved him. His name is Charles. Oh, no. Charles. Charles Arnett. We are going to get married in a beautiful church. And all of our friends and family would have been there. But he was nervous, you see. He was insecure about everything all of the time. So he sought the advice of a fortune teller. The day before our wedding, I'd die of poisoning if I'd done boredom with your story. Why? Why did you drink the tea? Shut up, Jacob. Anyway, 
I need you to know why. I need you to know why you are dying. I know why I'm dying. You poisoned me. Yeah, but do you know why? Why we poisoned you? Him. I know why. You. I don't care. You told him not to marry me! And he left me! He left you? Because of a card reading? <laughs> Seems like you got rid of an idiot. You manipulated him! Now you know why. I need a new beginning. No more old grudges in my life. You pathetic little girl. Working yourself up over a man. Pathetic? You're the wrench covered in her own vomit. Let's go, Jacob. This was a mess. Jacob, wait. I have something for you. The Wheel of Fortune. What goes around comes around. Bye, Miss Joanne. It was nice working with you. Is she dead?